<laughs> now speaking of R&B, you was beefing with Lauryn Hill, yes. and then you was beefing with Chris Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Why you got all this beef with R&B, bro? What's going on? <laughs> Chris Brown was beefing with me. <laughs> Chris Brown beefing with me. I know. You know what? It's, it's so funny because, you know, it is weird. It's not normal. What I do is not, I know what I do is not normal. People know me as a musician, as a piano player. Mm -hmm. Most people know me as a jazz piano player. Mm -hmm. But you know, all I, but you know, I've lived in this in this R and B hip hop world mm -hmm. in a certain way. So people in their mind, when you hear my name, it's just like you just think jazz. That's it. I think it's a that's little it. deeper than that. I think it's um. Last time you were on the show, you spoke about how because of the limitations to how people see jazz, when you made the black radio albums, you submitted them for Grammys as R&B albums. Yes. Right? So now you're submitting albums for Grammys as R&B albums, but these albums have her and Michelle and Dayo Cello and Erica Badu and yeah. Yasin Bey. And, you know, yeah, it's yeah. got all these great people who be associated with R&B and the, the Grammys are more old school. Yeah. So they're going to be more tapped into the jazz world. But Chris Brown, the R&B he's doing is more radio, nightclub, contemporary. So in right. his world, right. a, a Robert Glasper might not make it into his world right. to make him be like, well, who the fuck is Robert Glasper? Right, right. You know I mean? But the problem, but this is the thing. That was a traditional R&B category. Mm -hmm. It was called traditional R&B category. Okay. There is another category. Ah, okay. And it's, it's called... Um, Chris Brown type R&B. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> progressive R&B. Okay, okay, okay. By the way, they, the progressive R&B category was influenced by black radio. Well, really, in okay. Michelle Degocello was the first person to bring in the thought of having another R&B. Shout, shout out to Michelle, who was Degocello. at this festival yesterday and who's on my new album with Mad Lib Liberation. Absolutely. Two, part two. Michelle's the reason why they started to have, they started having a separate R&B category that was more out of the box of what you regularly call R&B. Things that have you know have more more influence of other genres. It's a little bit out of, more out of the box than the traditional R and B. So shout out to Michelle. So after she did it, then it went away because mm -hmm. there wasn't enough there wasn't enough people right. putting albums in that category. Then when Black Radio came around, that's when that kind of that's when I came back. You know what right. I mean? So definitely shout out to Michelle Degocello for giving us a space to live. But that's where Chris Brown's record should have been. Progressive R&B. Right. 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 My R&B has live instruments where it started. Right. So if anything, right. he shouldn't have been in my category. <laughs> shout out to Breezy. Shout um, out to Breezy though. He's awesome. Yeah. I, I have no beef with him. I talked to him after. Right. I told him I, I want to work with it's him. I always and, think he's super And tell him where they can get the Who the Fuck is Robert Glasper t-shirts. The Who the Fuck is Robert Glasper t-shirts. You can get them right there at the merch table. Right we the out merch. here.